to me, your host, Jimmy. Welcome to 8 out of 10 Cats, a show about opinion polls, surveys and statistics. Did you know, for example, 16% of women say they lie about their age from time to time? And those times are between the ages of 28 and 53. 40% <laughs> of men would rather be single than bald. So finally, some good news for Justin Lee Collins. <laughs> And 23% of people think they're more productive when they work from home. I know I am, but that's because I'm a self-employed erection checker. <laughs> but in other news, former Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadic is on trial for orchestrating genocide. Bad enough to commit genocide, but to set it to music, that's just sick. <laughs> and in footballing news, John Terry isn't appealing. I could have told you that. <laughs> Only 24% of people would rather host a house party than go to one. I like to party like it's 1999. Everything's a little bit cheaper and I'm not with my current girlfriend. <laughs> Quite funny, but she's gonna kill me. <laughs> the worst thing is when you turn up at a house party dressed as Batman and then you realise, A, it's not fancy dress, B, you haven't been invited, C, it's Christmas Eve, and D, she won't let you in to see your kids. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 32% of Britons aged between 25 and 39 live at home with their parents? I guess that can be awkward sometimes. For instance, if you're a grown-up who's currently watching this with your parents, why don't you all just take a moment to imagine each other having sex? <laughs> See? <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Only 1% of Brits don't own a TV. You know what I call people like that? Anything I like, they're not going to see this. <laughs> And 15% of men have never touched a vacuum cleaner. I've never touched a vacuum cleaner. In fact, I've literally no idea how it got up there. <laughs> the new Call of Duty computer game has been released. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is the most exciting, futuristic, slick, engrossing, brutal Hollywood-produced reason you're still a virgin at 30 ever. <laughs> Uh, but in other news, the CIA has been rocked by revelations that its chief, General Petraeus, had an affair. General Petraeus was betrayed by private emails. Private emails is now facing court martial. <laughs> this is the most disappointing thing to happen in the American espionage community since Brody's wife stopped getting her norks out in Homeland. <laughs> and the Church of England have announced the Bishop of Durham is to become the new Archbishop of Canterbury. He's made up, as is his religion. <laughs> 25% of people do their weekly online shop whilst in bed. I do. It helps me remember what we need. Meat, two veg, dumplings, a couple of baps. 83% <laughs> of British people admit to stealing something from a hotel room. I stayed in a hotel the other day. I decided to throw caution to the wind, opened up the mini bar, and I downed all the bottles of bubbly. And then I woke up and realised I was in a travel lodge and all the shampoo had disappeared. 30% <laughs> of Brits think it's acceptable to answer the phone during sex. It happens. Mum, it's for you. <laughs> Did you know, for example, nine out of ten children visit McDonald's once a month? What's that thing that all the kids get in McDonald's? Oh, yeah, fat. 68% <laughs> of men start conversations with strangers while queuing for the toilet. I wish people would just mind their peas and queue. <laughs> 27% of people keep a weapon by the bed to protect themselves against intruders. I don't have a weapon. Instead, I sleep in stockings and suspenders. <laughs> then if I'm burgled, I just throw back the covers and say, what kept you? <laughs> I have announced the release of the new iPad mini. Experts think the iPad mini will be the most popular gift this Christmas. So if you work in a Chinese sweatshop, that tea break might just have to wait. <laughs> The news. Conservative Chief Whip Andrew Mitchell has resigned after being accused of calling police officers plebs. People say pleb is the worst thing he could have called a policeman. Of course, they've forgotten about scum, peeler, plod, pig, bacon, rosa, five-o, <laughs> filth, dibble, busy, fuzz, tithead and <laughs> And a Brazilian student has sold her virginity this week for half a million pounds. I'm not a prostitute, said the 20-year-old Brazilian prostitute. <laughs> Did you know, for example, by 2030, 26 million Brits will be obese? Did you know if they all jumped up and down at the same time, they might lose a little bit of bloody weight? <laughs> the average woman loses her virginity at 17. How's about that, then? <laughs> Bye. 
and 70% of men don't get enough fibre in their diet. Tough shit. <laughs> yes, the Tory party conference. David Cameron and Boris Johnson have been described as frenemies, although I prefer to think of them as frassholes. <laughs> The Tories say you'll now be able to attack burglars in your own home. If you ever try and burgle me, you're going to meet these two fellas. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> but in other news, Freddie Starr has denied any involvement in the Jimmy Savile scandal, but these allegations risk leaving Freddie's reputation completely unchanged. <laughs> and Cheryl Cole has revealed she needed vitamin jabs in her bum to cope after Ashley Cole's infidelity. I don't know if the jabs worked or not, but can I just say to Cheryl Cole's doctor, High five. <laughs> Only 16% of people are regularly embarrassed by their partner's behaviour. Walking in on someone on the toilet is embarrassing. I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> Did you know, for example, the average mum has one hour a day to themselves? That's the thing with mums. Selfish. 25% <laughs> of lap dancers have university degrees. Yes, most of them... <laughs> Carol there, just getting the last joke. Or remembering something that happened earlier in her life. Who knows? 25% <laughs> of lap dancers have university degrees. Yes, most of them have a tutu and a French maid's outfit and a police uniform. <laughs> and 20% of Brits have travelled abroad with their pet, which rises to 98% of Geordies. Come on, pet, where are we on holidays? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the competition for Strictly Come Dancing is heating up. Lisa Riley's odds have gone from 66 to 1 to 10 to 1. Mmm, she thought, 10 to 1, lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> but in other news, cyclist Bradley Wiggins has been knocked off his bike by a motorist. Bradley Wiggins was rushed to hospital where he was immediately stabilised by adding two smaller wheels to his big back wheel. <laughs> It's been revealed the Prime Minister and Rebecca Brooks exchanged intimate text messages. Our lawyers have been very strict on this one, so with that in mind, I'd just like to say Rebecca Brooks is a blanking ginger blank, who blanked for Rupert Murdoch, blanked to the Levinson Inquiry, blanked to the police, and once even blanked a horse while David Cameron stood by blanking. <laughs> <laughs> and in India this week, 50 elephants went on a drunken rampage after drinking 500 litres of moonshine. In other news, a hen party from Wigan has gone missing. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 25% of children aren't allowed to play conkers at school? I wasn't allowed to touch my conkers at school. Apparently, it was putting off the netball team. 13% <laughs> of people have been visited by a dead person. Or, to put it another way, 13% of people have fallen asleep thinking about their nan. <laughs> And a survey's revealed lap dancers pay four times as much for car insurance as nurses, presumably because lap dancers are more at risk of being rear-ended. <laughs> the Church of England have refused to allow female bishops, denying male bishops the thing they so desperately wanted. Poontang on tap. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 48% of men in long-term relationships don't know their own clothes size? Although, if you've been in a relationship more than five years, chances are it's extra large. <laughs> Only 2% of the Earth's population are natural redheads, so technically it wouldn't be genocide, more of a tidy-up. <laughs> <laughs> and 94% of men consider themselves romantic. I'm really romantic. I often stand under my girlfriend's window and serenade her with my guitar. I say my girlfriend, it's the woman next door. I say serenade, I mean stare. And also, that's not a guitar I'm holding. <laughs> yes, the X Factor is heating up. Apparently, Rylan had eight bum notes last Sunday, each handed to him by Louis, saying, meet me in the dressing room after. <laughs> Have you written a book? Yeah, I've written a book, yeah. An autobiography? No, God, no. If I've learnt anything, it's the less that people know about me, the better. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a book about jokes. About jokes? Yeah, not... I mean, not, not an amazing... It's not, it's not as good as... It's not as good as this book. <laughs> Personally, I don't care if a book's been written by a celebrity like Rod Stewart or Simon Cowell or a member of the public like Kerry Katona. <laughs> Did you know, for example, over 1.6 million Britons still live at home with their parents? And we call those people children. <laughs> it takes giraffes up to an hour to have sex, but most of that is necking. And 65% of people think Britain is a great place to live. And that's a survey of people hanging on to the undercarriage of the Eurostar. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Did you know, for example, cat owners are 30% less likely to have a heart attack? And that, lonely ladies living on your own with no family, partner, friends or love life, is the good news. <laughs> Walking sideways burns 78% more calories than walking normally, which is why you never see a fat crab. <laughs> and 35% of women would hate their partner to see their underarm hair, so they hide it under their nose and poke it out of their knickers. <laughs> yes, Britain continues to be battered by freezing weather. Conditions in Birmingham were described as appalling, with no food on the shelves, schools shut and emergency services stretched to breaking point, and then it began to snow. <laughs> College in County Durham is running an X Factor preparation course. It teaches the three golden rules. Work on your vocals, become homeless, and wait for your nan to die. <laughs> <laughs> and pubic lice are becoming extinct due to an increase in body waxing. Conservationists have now declared David O'Doherty a nature reserve. <laughs> The government have unveiled plans for a new high-speed rail line. It said it will cost £32.7 billion, or £35 billion if you get a return. <laughs> yes, MPs have passed a bill to make gay marriage legal, even if it's a way of life you yourself don't subscribe to. Even if you think it's weird or somehow against nature, you still have to respect people's right to be a Tory MP. <laughs> Did you know, for example, one in 20 couples say they sleep in separate rooms to strengthen their relationship? I guess they also have sex with other people to prove how much they love each other. 10% <laughs> of people never talk about food at work, and that's because they're too fat to work. And besides, <laughs> they don't want to talk with their mouth full. <laughs> and 25% of men never use deodorant, but unfortunately, they do use public transport. <laughs> Manchester City won their first Premier League title in 44 years. Well, that's not strictly true. For 43 years straight, they won shittest club in Manchester. <laughs> yes, it was Valentine's Day yesterday. It's named after St Valentine, the patron saint of awkward meals at Pizza Express. <laughs> So those were the most talked about things this week, but in other news, Paralympian Oscar Pistorius has been arrested for shooting and killing his girlfriend. Finally, a story Lance Armstrong can read and think, I'm actually not that bad a bloke. <laughs> Yes, the top thing people learn from TV shows are cooking tips. The best thing about my girlfriend's cooking is I know exactly what I'm going to get. Gastroenteritis. <laughs> yes, the horse meat scandal continues. <laughs> IKEA have stopped selling meatballs after finding they contained horse meat. It's terrible. If you can't trust cheap meat products sold as an afterthought in a Swedish furniture shop, what can you trust? <laughs> So those were the most talked about things this week. But in other news, a woman in Las Vegas has been caught having sex with a dog in her front yard. Oh, God, get a kennel. <laughs> it's her own fault. She'd been leading him on for years. <laughs> He's found the dog burying his bone in her back garden. <laughs> One in three Scots want to leave the United Kingdom. So far, they've got as far as the off-licence. <laughs> and 20% of people would have sex on a plane. I once had a little bit of foreplay with a girl I met on a plane. Aer Lingus. <laughs> After 70 years, 20,000 British troops are being brought home from Germany. And why not? If history's taught us anything, it's if there's one country that can be trusted on its own, it's Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know, for example, 5% of UK adults take a teddy bear on holiday? It's ridiculous. Everyone knows the best way to smuggle cocaine is up a dog's bum. <laughs> 8% of parents admit to having a favourite child. My parents always made it clear I wasn't their favourite, which is tough on an only child. <laughs> and 10% of people have had sex in their office. I used to go out with a girl who worked for the council. She once let me have sex in the waste management department. It was my birthday. <laughs> Did you know, for example, for every human in the world, there are a million ants, but surprisingly, only one deck. <laughs> 30% of men buy their partners red roses on their anniversary. I bought my girlfriend some red roses, some red lingerie, and we had some red wine. And then we went up to the bedroom and read. <laughs> and 5% of women think their eyebrows are their best feature. Ladies, I don't know much about eyebrows, but I do know they shouldn't be poking out the sides of your pants. <laughs> Doctor Who is third on our list of favourite shows. People say the show's not realistic, but I think it is. It's featured 11 different doctors, and I've never seen a single one of them washing their hands. <laughs> so, those were the nation's favourite TV shows. But the only way is Essex came 16th. At the start of each episode of TOWIE, a disclaimer is read out, stating that some scenes have been created for your entertainment. Well, none that I've seen. <laughs>
Tenth on the list was X Factor. Every year, the X Factor finalists release a charity single to help the poverty-stricken and destitute. This year, it's in aid of Matt Cardle. <laughs> And Strictly Come Dancing came 12th on our poll. The surprise star of last series was Lisa Riley. She put her success down to being double-jointed. At every meal, she has beef and lamb. <laughs> yes, David Cameron has promised an in-out referendum on Europe. France and Germany have said Britain can't pick and choose its terms with Europe. There are just two things you need to remember, France and Germany. World War I and World War II. <laughs> Yes, the government is to introduce a new citizenship test. Personally, I think if you've got the stamina, determination and willpower to hang on to the underside of a lorry for 18 hours, fuck the test, welcome to Britain. <laughs> yes, archaeologists have uncovered the bones of Richard III in a Leicester car park. The remains of Richard III have been sitting in the car park since 1485. The good news is the first two hours were free. <laughs> People have been talking about there are traces of horse meat have been found in several supermarket burgers. Silvercrest Food, one of the suppliers of the horse meat contaminated burgers, is said to be an award winning company. And it turns out the award they won was the Grand National in 2012. <laughs> Did you know, for example, the average man in Glasgow owns two suits one for court and the other for the next time they go to court? <laughs> 83% of teenage girls keep a diary, which it turns out is very bad news for 70s DJs. <laughs> and one in eight men try to lose weight before going on holiday. I decided to cheat. I got myself one of those things that makes you look thinner on the beach. A fat girlfriend. <laughs> Yes, it was transfer deadline day yesterday. Manchester City striker Mario Balotelli has moved to AC Milan. David Beckham has signed for French club PSG. If you're watching, David, be careful what you eat in France. They recently found some beef DNA in their horse burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Jess Ennis was at the peak of physical fitness in the heptathlon. Watching her, I couldn't help feeling ashamed of myself because I could see what I was doing reflected in the telly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Oscars were held on Sunday. Daniel Day-Lewis was the big winner. With his Oscars for My Left Foot, There Will Be Blood and Now Lincoln, he's won more Oscars for unwatchable, tedious films than anyone in history. <laughs> yes, the top advice you'd give your younger self is to be more confident. If I went back in time, I'd say to my younger self, you need to be more confident. And my younger self would say, what the fuck have you done to my teeth? <laughs> yes, UFOs. I once found myself surrounded by these strange, misshapen humanoids. I didn't know what to say, so I just said the first thing that popped into my head. Hello, Norwich. <laughs> yes, the Pope has resigned. He's going to be difficult to replace. Where are we going to find another paedophile apologist who's also a Nazi? <laughs> yes, the best thing about living with your parents is not having to pay bills. Just because you live with your parents doesn't mean you can't have a life. My mate lives with his parents and he got lucky the other night. Crispy pancakes for tea. <laughs> yes, the worst thing about fancy dress parties is people who don't dress up. I went to a fancy dress party as a pirate. Illegally copied all their DVDs. <laughs> yes, this week Lance Armstrong spoke to Oprah Winfrey about his drug scandal. Lance Armstrong is now despised around the world, which is the second thing he's got in common with Hitler. <laughs> Did you know, for example, one third of people flush the toilet while still sat on it, which I believe is known as a Manchester B-Day. <laughs> It takes the average person seven minutes to fall asleep, although that can drop to under a minute if you're going out with John Richardson. <laughs> Which you're not. No one is. <laughs> well, you go out with him then. <laughs> and 25% of women have difficulty experiencing orgasms. They could try having a threesome with me and their more attractive sister. Might help, might not. I'm just saying, let's give it a go. <laughs> Caprice is ideal for the high dive because these days her face permanently looks like it's travelling at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> yes, the most annoying thing that couples do is argue in front of other people. My dad had an amazing technique to avoid arguments in our house. He left when I was two. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that Chris Hune is not in our top three, but Chris Hune's girlfriend is bisexual, just like he'll be by the time he comes out of prison. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 25% of people can write a text without looking at their phone? Which is great, because it means you can really concentrate on your driving. 48% <laughs> of Brits think social networks can help new relationships. It's so true. My life has been such a social whirlwind since I joined Grindr. I've hardly been able to sit down. <laughs> 
And 20% of men don't know what a pedicure is. A pedicure? Pretty sure it's a cure for men like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> Yes, the controversy over horse meat continues. Tesco pulled products off their shelves this week. That is a case of shutting the stable door after the horse has bolted into the mincer at the meat processing plant. <laughs> yes, the top thing people boast about is their kids. I make it a rule never to boast about my kids. The last thing I want is for my girlfriend to find out about them. <laughs> yes, the Pope's retired. Of course, the Pope was famously against using condoms. He said he couldn't feel anything. <laughs> Justin Bieber caused outrage by turning up two hours late for a gig. It's not just kids that like Justin Bieber. My nan actually describes herself as a believer. She's very religious and she's lost her teeth. <laughs> Did you know, for example, one in five women have been offended by a partner calling them curvy? On behalf of men everywhere, I'd just like to say, sorry, fatty. 79% <laughs> of pet owners sleep with their pets. But be careful, the last time I did, when I woke up, my duvet was soaking wet and my goldfish was dead. <laughs> and 12% of adults regularly get sucked into money-making schemes. I got sucked into a money-making scheme, I made 50 quid, and to be honest, it didn't taste half as bad as I expected. <laughs> I wrote a book about poltergeists and I'm pleased to say it's literally flying off the shelves. <laughs> The best way to make friends is to listen to people's problems. Of course, some people like me have the opposite problem, too many friends. It's like every makeup girl we've ever had on this show has had to leave because I'm too friendly. <laughs> yes, the best way to relax after a hard day at work is watch TV. I always like to sit in front of the telly and veg out, and by that I mean I don't wear any trousers. <laughs> Did you know, for example, one in eight adults in this country own a onesie? That's great, although I think there's a time and a place for a onesie. The place, your living room, the time, when you're six. 79% <laughs> of people enjoy experimenting with their meals, particularly the staff at Finders. <laughs> and cat owners are 30% less likely to have a heart attack, mainly because their heart's already been broken. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 30% of people would consider moving abroad after a holiday. I read about two girls who recently went on holiday to Peru, and they liked it so much they're staying for six to eight years. <laughs> and 23% of Brits have never visited France, which means they've never experienced the thrill of sitting in a cafe on the Champs-Élysées and being put off their croissant by the sight of a woman's hairy armpits and the smell of dog shit. <laughs> Right, let's get started. Yes, Sinead O'Connor has angrily criticised Miley Cyrus for her raunchy video. It was shocking seeing Miley Cyrus on stage at the MTV Awards in a skimpy outfit rubbing herself up against a penis, or Robin Thicke, as he's otherwise known. <laughs> yes, Tesco has revealed the extent of food wastage in the country. According to the survey, 53% of food in this country goes to waste. The rest goes to hips and bums. Right, girls? <laughs> Did you know, for example, 80% of obese people say they've got no idea how much they should be eating? Here's a clue. Less than that. 30% <laughs> of people say their favourite meal hasn't changed since childhood. My favourite meal's still the same. Sucking on boobies. Right, Mum? <laughs> and 18% of the population has sleepwalked. My girlfriend's a terrible sleepwalker. A few weeks ago, she sleepwalked out of the house, sleep met up with her ex-boyfriend, they sleep shagged, and now she's sleep left me. When she wakes up, she's gonna be so embarrassed. <laughs> yes, Miley Cyrus caused controversy, allegedly smoking marijuana on stage at the MTV Music Awards, although I saw the footage of Miley and I think I could see a better crack. <laughs> Things get out of hand so quickly. I once heard of a girl who lied to her husband about how she got pregnant, and now there's an entire religion. <laughs> yes, yeah, a new series of X Factor is underway. Dermot O'Leary says millions of X reviewers have tuned in in order to see his trouser bulge. Oh, Dermot, put a sock in it. Oh, wait, hang on, you have. <laughs> Yes, only 31% of people find driving a stressful experience. I'll tell you what stresses me out, those white van drivers. They think they own the bloody road with their flashing blue lights. <laughs> Calm down, mate, there's an accident up ahead. We've all got to wait. <laughs> Did you know, for example, students have to apply for an average of 24 jobs before they find a position. Things are tough out there. I met a guy recently who told me he had a first with honours, an MA and a PhD. I said, that's great, but I asked you for a burger without pickle. <laughs> 
72% of people find spending time with animals relaxing. I like having dogs around, but my girlfriend objects to all the licking of balls and sniffing of bums. She says it upsets the dogs. <laughs> and 40% of men worry about getting fat. There's a simple test for men. Look down at your stomach. If it's flat, you've got nothing to worry about. If it's sticking out a bit, you might need to go on a diet. And if you can't see your stomach because your boobs are getting in the way, you've got a problem. <laughs> I like spending time with my favourite animal in my basement. It's a sort of centipede. I made it myself. It was a lot of work and it's a bit messy, makes a hell of a noise, but it was worth it. <laughs> yes, the hardest job is a teacher. All the teachers at my school were very strict. I remember every Monday morning I had to give the deputy head. The worst thing about living alone is having no one to talk to. There's an old man who lives alone next door to me. Still, he's just bought himself a new dog for company. I think he's called it Help, because I keep on hearing him calling it. Help! 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 <laughs> Don't worry, though. I think the dog's come back, because I haven't heard him shouting anything in ages. <laughs> He set up a secret stall in New York and sold his artwork for just $60. There hasn't been a discount on art this big since Rolf Harris was arrested. <laughs> so those were the most talked about things this week. But in other news, the US debt crisis has been resolved. Americans are going to have to tighten their belts, which won't be easy for them, as most of them are wearing elasticated trousers. <laughs> British gas has put up prices by 10%. Our only hope of beating the energy crisis now is to build more wind farms and to switch exclusively to Mexican food. <laughs> and it's been revealed this week that the Soviet Union once ran up a huge debt to New Zealand after importing massive quantities of butter. I'm not sure where the Soviets kept all this butter, but I'm guessing in the middle of Kiev. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 43% of men flirt with people behind their partner's backs. I have to confess, I sometimes flirt with people without telling my girlfriend, but it doesn't mean anything, it's just a bit of harmless banter in the steam room of a gay sauna. It's nothing. 11% <laughs> of single women have already picked out their wedding dress. It's an important decision. It's a lot of money to spend on a dress you're only going to wear never. <laughs> And video game controllers have five times the amount of germs found on a toilet seat. It's their own fault for giving them that vibrate function. <laughs> yes, indeed, Strictly Come Dancing has started again. In the first episode of this series of Strictly, everyone agreed Abby Clancy stole the show. Typical Scouser. <laughs> Channel 4's new show, Sex Box, aired this week. If I want to have sex in a small, windowless box, devoid of any romance or sexual excitement, I'll book me and my girlfriend into a travel lodge. <laughs> Strictly Come Dancing continues. <laughs> One of the celebrities, Patrick Robinson, is from Casualty. His dance starts well, but halfway through he starts climbing a stepladder to hang Christmas lights over a bath, <laughs> and you think this isn't going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know, for example, 1.5 million Britons would like to be buried with their mobile phone? And if you answer it when you're sitting behind me in the cinema, you will be. <laughs> One in 20 people have held a party for their cat's birthday. Even the cat's thinking, this is a bit tragic. <laughs> and 22% of nightclub hookups are one-night stands. Yeah, who would have thought the guy you tugged off in a toilet cubicle two minutes after meeting him in Hollywood's nightclub Romford wouldn't turn out to be the love of your life? <laughs> but if you are watching, Darren, call me. Yes, the Plebgate row has intensified this week. Andrew Mitchell's always disputed the police's version of events, saying, I 100% deny calling those pricks plebs. <laughs> yes, the Tory party conference. The conference started with a short film about Margaret Thatcher, which got a standing ovation. To be fair, it has got a brilliant ending. <laughs> Yes, Britain's youth have scored amongst the lowest in international literacy and numeracy tests. How do you expect Britain's teenagers to learn to read and write? They're too busy bringing up their kids. <laughs> so, those were the most talked about things this week. But in other news, Silvio Berlusconi is set to carry out 12 months of community service, although, unfortunately, the community he's chosen is a Catholic girls' school. <laughs> And this week, a Bristol woman of 85 got her first ever tattoo. She had the Grim Reaper on her shoulder, watching as she got a tattoo of a dolphin. <laughs> yes, the Great British Bake Off was the most talked about thing this week. Bake Off's not been a great success in America, of course, over there. It's a dieting show. <laughs> Yes, men's biggest worries are putting on weight and going grey. Either way, the solution is the same. Diet. 
Yes, David Cameron has reshuffled his cabinet. David Cameron denies putting more women in the cabinet is mere tokenism. The promotions are Minister for Hoovering, Helen Grant, <laughs> and Nicky Morgan, the new minister for total sexiness. <laughs> Did you know, for example, 36% of people think the best way to dump someone is over the phone? Please press 1 for it's not you, it's me. 2 4, we can still be friends, and 3 4, I'm sorry, I've got your mum pregnant. <laughs> 25% of men pretend to be asleep if they hear a strange noise in the night. I can't get to sleep sometimes because there's this strange bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. I asked my girlfriend, is there a fly in here? And she said, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> and 73% of dieters abandon their diet at the weekend. And there's a special name for those dieters. Fat people. <laughs> yes, the badger cull's been extended as they say they haven't killed enough animals. The aim of the cull was to stop the spread of bovine TB and to distract Brian May from making any more music. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alex Ferguson's autobiography was released this week. In the book, Ferguson is scathing about David Beckham, Roy Keane and Wayne Rooney. If that lot ever learn to read, they'll be livid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know, for example, 10% of British people let their pets sleep in their bed. There's nothing more relaxing than waking up in the night to feel the weight of your dog on your chest, to feel his fur, hear his gentle panting, and sense his eyes staring at you in the darkness. <laughs> Until you realise, hang on a minute, I haven't got a dog. 54% <laughs> of teenagers never go to the cinema. Really? Where do they make their phone calls? <laughs> And 25% of Brits rate themselves 10 out of 10 in the bedroom. I'd give myself 9.9 .9 because I fell over on the dismount. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the top thing people wish they were better at is speaking foreign languages. We had a really great French teacher at my school, but in the end I failed the oral. Apparently I didn't cup les balls properly. 40% <laughs> of people regularly reward their pets with treats. Who's going to the vet for a lovely long sleep? <laughs> Who's going to the vet for a lovely long sleep? <laughs> 44% of Brits think that we should have a space programme. But Britain does have a space programme. Doctor Who. <laughs> and 27% of men play games on their mobile whilst in bed with their partner. I'm guessing Angry Birds, especially when she wants to play Snake. <laughs> yes, Simon Cowell has become a father for the first time. I'm surprised Simon was at the birth of the child, because normally he doesn't like being in a room where he's not the biggest punchline removed for legal reasons. <laughs> So those were the most talked about things over the last week, but in other news, it's been revealed Tony Blair apparently advised Rebecca Brooks on the hacking scandal just before her arrest. Blair's main piece of advice was don't go out in the rain with that hair, it'll go all frizzy. <laughs> and a woman's been treated for burns in Barcelona after the toilet she was sitting on exploded. As she was carried out by emergency services, she whispered, I'd leave that five minutes if I were you. <laughs> Well, like if any of the proposed sugar tax is not in our top three, but they want to tax fizzy drinks because they're linked to obesity. Although, saying that, another study claims that fizzy drinks are good for you. And that was carried out by the eminent scientist, Dr Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> the EU referendum debate's not one of the most talked about things over the last week, but... Ed Miliband says if Labour win the next election, they won't call for a referendum on Britain's EU membership unless Britain was asked to transfer more powers to Brussels, which I think you'll agree is about as clear as Eric Pickle's piss. <laughs> I any pubs is not one of Britain's greatest contributions to the world, but the oldest existing pub in Britain was built in the 8th century. We don't know much about it, but we do know the barman was a guy called Skip from Brisbane, who was just working there so he could get some money together to bum around Europe. <laughs> Norwich has the politest drivers in the UK. Well, it's difficult to be rude when virtually everyone you meet is a close relative. <laughs> The oldest paper boy in Britain is Bernard Davies from Brighton. He's 90 years old. Sorry, we just had an update. The oldest paper boy in Britain is Gavin Henderson from Sunderland. He's 12. <laughs> and 51% of women do not groom or style their pubic hair. 51%, that means statistically, either your mum or your nan is rocking a Brazilian. <laughs> Yes, floods have been devastating parts of the UK. Eric Pickles was the first minister to apologise for the flooding. He filled his bath too high and when he got in, Somerset flooded. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin are splitting up. In the press release, Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow said they were consciously uncoupling as opposed to unconsciously uncoupling, which is just when it accidentally slips out. <laughs> 
So those were the most talked about things over the last week. But in other news, it's been announced Nick Clegg and Nigel Farage will take part in a televised debate. Now we can finally get the answer to the question British voters really want answered. Who would win in a fight between a prick and an asshole? <laughs> Legoland was closed at the weekend due to a terror threat. What's the big deal? They could just put it back together. <laughs> and a man in Lincolnshire has been found guilty of having sex with a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. <laughs> Someone must have squealed. My money is on the dog. <laughs> I can tell you the voice is not in our top three. But after seven weeks of blind auditions where the judges turn their chairs round, the show's moved on to the battle phase, where viewers turn the channel over. <laughs> the winner of the first series of The Voice, Leanne Mitchell, is already the answer to Britain's hardest pub quiz question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Valentine's Day was on Friday. It's estimated six million people popped the question on Valentine's Day. And that question was, can we have a threesome? <laughs> Yes, the trial of Oscar Pistorius continues. <laughs> this is all just part of Oscar Pistorius's plan to become president of South Africa. He just needs to do 25 years in prison first. <laughs> of course, Oscar Pistorius shot his girlfriend last Valentine's Day, so if my girlfriend's watching, suddenly a box of chocolates and flowers from the garage don't look so bad, do they? <laughs> Kate, William and George are currently on a royal tour. Kate and William took part in the traditional Maori greeting of Hongi, which is done by pressing one's forehead against the nose of another. It's also the traditional greeting in Glasgow, although there they do it with much more force. <laughs> According to a survey, one in three men live at home. That's nonsense. Everyone lives at home. <laughs> one in four Americans have appeared on TV. I'm assuming widescreen. <laughs> and... 55% of people think being associated with charity work makes you seem more attractive, which explains why Pudsy Bear gets all that poontang. <laughs> in September, Scotland will face a referendum on independence in which they'll be asked to either vote OK or OK NO. <laughs> Four percent of people do think they've got a great idea for a business. I'm involved in a business venture that is going to make me millions just as soon as my Nigerian friend emails me back. <laughs> well, Justin Bieber's not one of the most talked about things, but Michael Jackson earned $160 million last year and he's dead. I'm just throwing that out there in case anyone's watching from Justin Bieber's record company. <laughs> Of course, the greatest pop band in history are the Beatles. They came from Liverpool, although you'll already know that if you've ever spoken to anyone from Liverpool for more than seven seconds. 40% <laughs> of British people can't identify bird songs. It's simple. It's usually either I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor or Independent <laughs> Women by Destiny's Child. 15% <laughs> of Brits think Downton Abbey is the best TV show ever made. And that is a survey of your nan. <laughs> 33% of people don't know how to tie a necktie. It's easy. Just wrap it round your neck twice, tuck it in the hole and pull it tight. Unless you're Piers Morgan, in which case, follow the same steps, but first, attach it to a light fitting. <laughs> My girlfriend asked me to knock something up in the kitchen, and now our cleaner's pregnant. <laughs> the Winter Olympics in Sochi finished yesterday. After winning the gold medal, Lizzie Yarnold changed her Twitter name to Lizzie Yarn Gold. She was congratulated by her fellow British Olympians, Barry Loser and Dave Last Place. 7% <laughs> of women count sex as a part of their exercise regime. Well, they do when they're with me. All that running away keeps you pretty fit. 54% <laughs> of published authors earn less than £600 a year. If that's you, here's a tip. Try writing a story about a boy wizard who likes his billionaire boss to tie him up and piss on him. You'll make a killing. <laughs> And 3% of people claim they can speak fluent Welsh. If that's you, you can go, 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 fuck yourself. <laughs> the Winter Paralympics in Sochi finished yesterday, although Putin has vowed the shooting event will continue until Ukraine surrenders. <laughs> There's been a revolution in the Ukraine. Thousands of protesters gathered in Kiev's Independent Square. Here's a tip for dictators watching. Don't have a square. And if you do have a square, don't call it Independent Square. Call it, everything's fine, move along, <laughs> nothing to see square. <laughs> of course, traditional Irish dancers have their hands by their sides at all times because their arms have been decommissioned. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I can tell you, Nick Clegg and Nigel Farage debating Europe is not in our top three. But their next debate is taking place on BBC Two, and not, as I hoped, on a burning platform suspended over a pool of dog shit. <laughs> 84% of people would use personal contacts to help their child get a job. I hate nepotism. In fact, I'm the chairman of the Anti-Nepotism League, an organisation set up in the 80s by my father. <laughs> the word dog appears just 14 times in the Bible, but loads more than that if you read it backwards. <laughs> And a survey's revealed Sunday is the loneliest day for pensioners. If you're a pensioner, don't worry. Someone will be popping round on Monday to cut your heating off. <laughs> yes, the best way to impress your in-laws is to make them laugh. Number nine on the list is admire their house. Oh, this is lovely. I look forward to inheriting this when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the biggest sign your vein is always looking in the mirror. I've got one of those circus mirrors that makes you look all misshapen and disgusting with a massive paunch and a tiny cock. At least I think it's the mirror. 30% <laughs> of English language students think learning to spell is unnecessary because of autocorrect. Stupid aunts. <laughs> yes, the countdown for the World Cup has started. I actually think England have a good chance of winning the World Cup, unless, and this could happen, any of the other teams turn up. <laughs> But seriously, why stand around in a noisy club getting shunned by attractive women when you can go on Tinder and get turned down in the comfort of your own home? <laughs> yes, the top adrenaline rush is going on a roller coaster because nothing gets the heart pumping like travelling 40 feet above the ground in a metal coffin maintained by a 12 year old scrap metal dealer with tattoos. <laughs> How was I supposed to hide the fact I lost my virginity from my mum? She was there. <laughs> Sorry, not my mum, John's mum. <laughs> average pub landlord is two stone overweight. That's nuts. And beer and crisps and lager and pork scratchings. <laughs> Border collies are the most intelligent dogs. Yes, when it comes to chasing their own tails, shitting on driveways and sniffing each other's asses, Border collies truly are the Einsteins. <laughs> and men in the northeast think putting out the bins is the most romantic modern gesture. And why not? For most couples in Newcastle, it was where they had their first date. <laughs> Yes, the crisis in Ukraine continues. Despite the tensions, the centre of Kiev has returned to normal. A big pool of delicious garlicky butter. <laughs> I suppose it does depend on your definition of fun. If you mean getting drunk and acting like an idiot, then that's not me. But if your idea of fun is a disappointing evening, followed by awkward sex, apologies and crying, then I'm a really fun guy. 35% <laughs> of Americans think British accents are attractive. Well, jolly nice of you to say so, fatty. 19% <laughs> of people who bought Katie Price's latest book, Love, Lipstick and Lies, haven't read it yet. Fine. We haven't read it. She didn't write it. Everyone's happy. <laughs> and 86% of Brits can't name five C's around the world. It's easy. President Putin, he's a massive C. David Cameron, <laughs> he's a right C. Whoever's running Iran at the moment, total C. Kim Jong-un, absolute C. And Piers Morgan, what a C. <laughs> Well, I can tell you manners is not in our top three, but different cultures have different rules. In Thailand, the rudest thing you can do is show someone the soles of your feet. I'm not entirely sure that's true. I've been to Thailand and you could do much ruder things. <laughs> Maria Miller has resigned as culture secretary. Maria Miller initially apologised to the house and then issued another apology, presumably to her second house. <laughs> So those were the most talked about things over the last week. But in other news, Michael Gove has announced plans to make GCSEs harder. Right now, the hardest thing in the exam hall is the boys from 4C, when Madame Genevieve, the French teacher, bends over to pick up her pencil. <laughs> Michael Gove wants to make the school day longer, which would mean that from now on, in a massive change, teachers would have to work up to eight hours a year. 